Hello there, this is Donnie Gladfelter from the CAD Geek blog. Uh, today what I'd actually like to do is take a look at a, a question that I've received from a couple users now regarding the display names of tools inside of the ribbons. Um, so first off, what is a display name? Well, what I'm talking about here, you'll notice generally it relates to these larger icons, things like the line, the move, multi-line text, those commands. Basically where I've got an icon and then I've got some sort of text underneath of there. But basically any uh, anytime I see text in the ribbon, uh, you know, related to a tool, that's what I'm talking about here with the display name. So specifically the question was uh, A, how to actually modify those names, and B, how to make the display name actually show up on two lines. So something like I've got here with the multi-line text command. Again, multi-line is on the top and then text is on the second line there on the bottom. So how do I get, the, get to this? Well, first and foremost we need to get into the CUI command, which I can of course get to by typing in CUI at the command line. Or, if I'd like to, uh, to get to things a little bit more graphically here, I can go under my workspace switcher here and then select customize here as well. Whichever method I choose, I'm going to get to this exact same dialog box, which is of course the customize user interface dialog. Now for the purposes of today's discussion, what I'm going to do is actually modify this move command. What I'm going to do is add it to the end of it, so it's going to be the move it command. So first and foremost, what I need to do, since I'm working on the ribbons, I'm going to plus out the ribbon node here inside of the CUI command. And I'm going to modify this, um, this panel here. So I'm going to plus out panels here and scroll down just a little ways. And this happens to be the modify panel. So I'm going to find the home 2D modify ribbon panel right here. Select on it. it might take a moment, but over here on the right side, I'm going to get a, get a panel preview where it's going to show me this modify ribbon panel in its fully expanded uh, way. And what I can do from here actually is select on this move command. When I select on the move command from the panel preview, it will actually load the properties for the move tool. So it's kind of a quick little tip there as well. So to actually modify the way that this displays on the ribbon, uh, what I need to do is find the display group here, which is actually at the very top for me. And what I want to do is modify the name property. So what I'm going to do is just type in it. And so now the display name, this gets bold because I've modified it and it now reads move it. So let's see what happens uh, inside of AutoCAD now. If, if I go ahead and apply those changes, I'm going to hit OK to get back into AutoCAD. Now it'll take a second for AutoCAD to reload the CUI, but once it does, I will now see those changes um, applied here to the user interface. So now it reads move it as opposed to just move. But that still doesn't completely answer our question here. Notice move it is all on a single line of text, whereas uh, over here with this multi-line text tool, I've got multi-line and text on two lines. So what's the secret to make this display on two lines of text? Well, for the answer to that, we've got to get back into the CUI command. We're going to go back to the exact same place, which of course was under ribbon, uh, panels, and let's scroll down here real quick again to that home, D, home 2D Modify ribbon panel. I want to modify this move command right here, so I'm going to select on it. And the CUI command is going to load the properties for my move, or as I've renamed it at least, the move it command. So what I want to do is get it to display on a second line of text. The secret to that is to type in the slash in code. So there you have it right there, slash in. Now, the moment that I tab out of this uh, particular text box, it's going to replace that slash in with this character that looks like a box. So here you have it. I'm going to go ahead and tab right now. And notice as soon as I do that, it goes ahead and bolds that field once again just to let me know that I've modified it. And that slash in has now been replaced with a little box. So let's go ahead and hit OK here get back into the AutoCAD user interface and see what happens. So after it's reloaded, you'll notice now move and it are on two separate lines of text. So there you have it, a quick tip on how to make your display names of ribbon tools uh, on two lines of text. Once again, this is Donnie Gladfelter from the CAD Geek blog. I hope you'll join me very soon. Take care.